Okay, I don't really know why I'm making this video. I'm actually waiting for another video that I'm gonna put up tomorrow to render. And while I was waiting for that, I was on Twitter and then somebody tagged me in this video. Well, they didn't tag me in the video. They tagged me to see this video and then I clicked on the video. It's my guy Bijou Mike and he uploaded this video called Somebody Made a Better Version of Yandere Simulator in Two Weeks. And it has 19,000 likes, which is good. But then something caught my eye. It got 1.1 thousand dislikes. And I'm like, what did you do, Mike? So this is coming from my latest Yandere Simulator video uh and i can't read your username sorry youtube won't <laughs> like me to say that so i can't say yeah you definitely can't I'm read that username part, actually i can't say <laughs> part. but anyway they said bj mike is the only person brainwashed by yandere dev and we need to stop that so yandere simulator can be officially dead by the way bj mike if you're reading this there's a better version of yandere simulator called lovesick and it's made by different people hey guys okay well just going from that comment alone the only way Yandere Simulator can truly die is if the game just stops being developed completely. That's just my opinion. Like, I really feel like that's the only way the game can die. Yeah, a lot of people think that Yandere Dev is an asshole and he's done a lot of things that people don't like. And yeah, I've seen it because you guys tag me in stuff that he said or he's done. Or you guys want me to watch videos like exposing him and things like that. The main thing about that, and I know a lot of people want my opinion on that. The main thing about me watching those kinds of videos is that I don't care. Like, I have other things that I need to do in my day. It doesn't revolve around Yandere Simulator or Yandere Dev. So I'm not really interested in watching stuff like that. I know a lot of people want my opinion on it, but I just don't care. And does that make me irresponsible for not caring? No! I'm just a grown man trying to do my own thing. I'm just trying to live my own life. I'm not worried about another man's life. I'm not worried about the things that he's done. If he killed somebody or did something serious that, you know, warranted some kind of, like, legal involvement, then I'd be like, whoa, okay, I need to just distance myself from this whole thing. But like I told you guys in many videos before, and I guess I'm showing you guys right now that I'm fine without uploading Yandere Simulator content. I could just drop the game if I'm not interested in it anymore. But I am interested in it because I am still curious about the updates. I do check the Yandere WordPress website to see, you know, what kind of updates there are or like updates on the progress of the game. But if there's no updates, I'm just chilling. Like I'm cool with it. I don't really like stress about no updates or I don't think like, where is the update? I know a lot of people ask my opinion about Yandere Dev and what do I think about him as a person and things like that. I have no idea who Yandere Dev is as a person. He's DM'd me a few times and we've talked a few times, but it hasn't really been anything. Mostly just like uh, every time I like talk about glitches or every time I talk about the game being laggy, he'll like tell me why he thinks the game lagged at a certain point and I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Like he hasn't said anything like bad to me or mean to me do i think that he likes me i actually don't think that he likes me i don't think that he likes me mostly because you know i talk a lot of shit and i have no problem talking a lot of shit i played a lot of games and developers have watched the games that i played that they made and i know that i've said some things that might have rubbed them the wrong way so do i think that yandere dev likes me no do i like yandere dev no do i dislike yandere dev no i don't really care either way i really don't care either way all I care about is the game, to be honest. That's all I care about. Do I think that he should be harassed and bullied and stuff like that? No, I really don't because a lot of comments can affect people. They can take them in a direction that nobody should ever have to go through. And I'm just not on board with hating somebody just because it's popular. But I am giving my honest opinion, you know. I don't really like Yandere Dev, but I also don't dislike him. I just don't have an opinion on him because he's never done anything wrong to me personally. But I also don't have enough of a reason to be like, yeah, you know, he's a cool guy. I do like the idea for his game Yandere Simulator, but I don't really know much about him as a person. Just like he doesn't know much about me. He could probably think I'm the biggest douchebag in the world, and I probably am. But, you know, that's what it is. Like, we don't know each other enough to say, oh, I like him or I don't like him. We just have to go by our actions. And I don't really dive into his own actions. I know there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet, but I really don't read too much into it, believe it or not. I just don't care. I really don't care. So there's a YouTuber that goes by the name Dr. Ape, Apies, Apies? I think it's Dr. Apis. Apis. I really don't know how to say your name. Not trying to- It sounds like Dr. Like Apis. I don't I know. Don't Correct know me if I'm wrong. Say it. They are making their own version of Yandere Simulator. It oh, is, word? it is literally 
supposed to be a better version of Yandere Simulator. They even right, named it Lovesick. It if you've been following they Yandere Simulator sick? for a long time, you know that there's a Lovesick mode, and I was always a little confused by that. Uh, I don't know Why if Yandere Dev is gonna change the name to Lovesick. I think he did a poll about it, but that's besides the point. There's I feel like if you're trying to make a cool game, and there's a lot of very talented developers out there, I feel like if you're trying to make a game that's kind of similar to the idea of Yandere Simulator, then you shouldn't call it Lovesick because I think Yandere Dev wanted to call the game Lovesick. I don't remember everything. Like, I have bad memory with all this stuff, but I think that he wanted to name the game Lovesick and not call it Yandere Simulator anymore. But if you want to make a Yandere Simulator type of game, don't call it Lovesick. Just call it something cool. Like, give it a dope-ass name because I'm pretty sure if it's good, people are going to be drawn to it. If you keep calling it Lovesick, then they're just going to be like, oh, you know, it's like another version of Yandere Simulator, but better. But these videos have uh, gotten pretty popular, especially this one, the announcement trailer. But let's start with the gameplay preview and uh, take a look about it. And I'll tell you what I think about it. Because everyone knows I'm a brainwashed Yandere gamer. I only play Yandere Simulator on my channel and nothing else. Even right now, I'm waiting on that Yandere check to come in. Don't tell anybody I said this, but Yandere Def pays me to play the game. Yeah, <laughs> slipping me some money under the table. Yeah, no, no, that's not true at all. Hey, I've gotten that before. I think like a couple years ago, there was like some weird ass theory that I saw. I think it was like in 2017, 2018. I think there was something about me either paying Yandere Dev to make updates or him paying me to keep playing the game. I forgot which one it was, but I remember seeing that and I was like, wow. Like, wow, people are really saying stuff and they're really running with that. Like, they really think that shit's sweet like that. No, me and Yandere Dev have never actually had a conversation about any of that stuff. The conversations that I can remember are him commenting about like some kind of funny glitch that I did in one of the videos. And then he also sent me a link to a prototype called Senpai Fighter that I played in a free random games episode. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, he told me about why I might be lagging or glitching when I was bitching about it in uh, one of the episodes. You guys know me, I'm always talking about glitches and lagging and roasting games and stuff like that, ain't nothing new. But yeah, I remember a couple years ago, People thought that I was actually getting paid to play the game and I didn't like it or something like that. Or he was paying me or I was paying him. It was one of those two things, but I was just letting people talk whatever they want to talk because, I mean, that's the beauty of this world, right? Everybody has their own opinion, whether it's right or wrong. But yeah, I've gotten that before about like getting some kind of like under the table payment to play the game, but that's not true at all. I have paid Yandere Dev zero dollars to make any kind of update for me or to like make anything special for me like the that dude sunglasses or just like the sensor thing whenever i used to censor um the panties or whatever in the game like none of that was ever pre-planned between me and him it's just stuff that happened and i'm grateful for it like i'm glad that he put those things in the game because it helped me from getting demonetized especially like the censoring the panties thing that was like one of the biggest things that helped me from keeping me being demonetized Does that even make sense Sometimes when I one take J stuff, I really stumble on my words. That's why I edit a lot because I'm always getting tongue tied. I'm always talking and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. but anyway, let's continue. People leave comments on my channel and they believe that that's what I'm doing. They say that I'm brainwashed and they're, oh, how can you possibly still play the game? In my opinion, you can love a game, but you don't have to love the person creating it. You know, that's, that's kind of how I feel. That's kind of uh, like JK like, Rowling and Harry Potter. Like she said but some stuff that's absolutely either. flat yeah, out wrong, I video with him but I still long, see long motherfuckers out there dressed like Harry Potter doing Expo, spells in front of their video. like friends and, uh, I don't know we've exchanged a few discord like you can love Harry Potter there, and not like JK uh, Rowling I mean I don't know if that's a good example but that's friend, what it kind of reminds me of you do things with and you hang out with them and you talk to them regularly so that's not the case I would say acquaintances and uh I know there's a lot of criticism with the Andre Dev, uh, and all I can just tell you about the the things that I've had, all the all the interactions that I've had with the Andre Dev have been good. Really, nothing, nothing bad. I yeah, don't ask me about say. the criticisms so with the Andre Dev guys because well, I really just don't my care. Opinion on it. Anyway, I really don't. Without care. getting into every unless he does tiny, something nitty, seriously nitty detail, messed up, that's all. I'm then saying. I don't care if he's uh, so like anyway, lazy uh, looking at the game. Or, as you can um, see, I mean, he doesn't it, work on his game or whatever. 
then that's his own life. Like, that's his own thing. I'm not going to force him to go work on his own stuff because I'm trying to make videos every single day. I'm trying to create content for you guys to entertain you guys and just to, you know, take care of Mason and take care of my own life. So that's my priority. My priority isn't to worry about somebody else's life. It's just to worry about my life and my son's life. And if you guys want me to like jump into that world of all the Yandere Dev drama, that's not my world. Like that's not my world. I have my own channel to worry about. I just kind of I just kind of wanted to react to this video because I don't know. I thought it'd be cool. I thought it'd be like pretty cool to like actually have my opinion on something when so many people want my opinion on it. But at the same time, I have Bijou Mike's video here, so he can kind of talk through it, and then I can just like give my own thoughts about what he's saying, just like right now. Like I'm talking right now because what he just said earlier about, you know, Yandere Dev and like the criticisms of him and stuff like that. But yeah. As you can see, I mean, it does look pretty good, right? It's got the same noises, it looks we got smoother. the same pool, the same bathroom, the, the, colors the same look a little bit floor, different the too. same shadows. <laughs> in fact, I think you could just say it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Looks it looks crispier. The same you could just tell. machines, the same Like the way that around. they fall, the way that, like that she was doing the killing animation and stuff like that. Things. The only thing that I can see that's kind of different from this is Yandere Chan's character model. I don't know if it's, it may just be me, but I think she's kind of stretched out. And so there's obviously been a slight I'm not biased towards anything. It does look more smooth. Like that. So just from a like, gamer's just my own perspective, opinion. I don't know anything about coding, so I'm not I don't know shit about like, coding I either. Well, I, know the creator, I really don't. Uh, Dr. EP's <laughs> could be a coding I had to get help, like step-by-step -step help to install just mods make a in games. Class of coding because he's I'm playing like Fallout New Vegas right now on PC, and I don't even know how to install the mods there. So I'm just playing like the base game right now, and I'm pretty sad. <laughs> I'm pretty sad. It took them uh, two weeks. They actually say it right here. Uh, it took two weeks to make this entire thing. And a person just watching this can go like, wow, this looks almost exactly the same as Yandere Simulator. <laughs> but they only took two weeks to do it. That's insane. It's taken Yandere though six years to get this far. I can't believe how incompetent he is. But little do you know, these people are literally just taking every single thing from Yandere Simulator and put it in their game. Hey. Whether or not you did that, whether or not, you know, you created it from scratch and then developed all of that in two weeks, whether you took the existing code and then put it into yours and then just like change some things. Dr. Apis, you know, you hit my line. <laughs> if you want to send me a build to this game, hit me up. I mean, I don't know if you should call it lovesick. Like I said, maybe give it like a different type of name, your own unique name. But hey, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to play games. I told you guys, I don't care. I literally don't care. I'm not on one side of the fence or the other. I'm just here to create content. I don't want people pulling me one way or the other. So Dr. Apis, anybody who's developing games, hit me up, you know, Twitter, email, comments, anything. You know, I'm your guy. Given the whole situation with Yandere Dev, of course, people are gonna meme it because that, that again, the, one of the biggest criticism is how long the game has taken. Boy, they hearted just about every single comment on this thing, like crap, man. Like this, for instance, I really like the placement of the buildings. It feels natural, does it? Like, I don't know, how many schools have you gone to that looks like this? Like, I don't know. I, I'm not saying it's know, not natural, but I'm just saying that like, I think people like just, anymore. Get, just because they like, don't skip reason. school kids. Don't, don't be dumb. like me. Like, don't be like me. Things, so, like, you don't want to be don't, like I don't me. Get it. Plus, they haven't even seen the whole game. They don't even know if it's better or not. They just see one video. Dr. Ape, it's like I'm saying, if you want me to figure like out if it's better or not, am I lying? You know what? I mean, don't actually call me, but you, know, the code, you know what I mean. Exactly you know what I mean, doctor? Uh, I know that Yandere Dev has faced a ton of criticism, and I'm I'm quite sure that a lot of it is warranted. There's a saying, where there's smoke, there's fire, right? Or something like that. So I know a lot of the criticism that Yandere Dev is, is getting, I'm sure, has been self-inflicted just because maybe he's acted a certain way online maybe many years ago uh, which from what I can see he's addressed I think a lot of the the hate now is kind of unnecessary and I think okay I really don't know what he's done but if he's addressed it and he acknowledges that he messed up and he wants to move forward and move on with it then that's good that's good because that means that you actually realize what you've done wrong 
and why you've done something wrong and trying to work on yourself in order to not become that person that you once were. But I think the hate now, and I see it even in my comment section, is people making fun of them for, you know, how long the game has taken, why Osana isn't in the game. And you know what? I will say that I have made my jokes about Osana not being in the game. But back to what I was saying, like if he messed up, if he did some shitty, shady things in his past, present, or future, then he needs to own up to it. But if we're all like piling on him about, you know, the game development taking too long, then I don't know. I just don't like things like that because it could really break down a person and it could really put them on a path that I wouldn't wish upon anybody. And I don't know. I just don't like and I don't believe in doing that to somebody because we all like talk shit to people online. We all say all these things. And then by the time they're so broken, then that's when we want to help them. Why can't we repair people while it's still salvageable? Why do we have to like try to repair somebody or help somebody when it's already too late? Like when they're just past the point of no return or don't want your help anymore. I just really believe in stuff like that. I, I don't want to like pile on somebody or make jokes about somebody just because it's like the funny, cool thing to do, you know? I know you guys are gonna be like, well, you know, you've said a lot of your jokes in Yandere Simulator, you've made fun of Noah Osana being in the game. I know, I know, I have. And I told you guys like 10, 20 seconds ago, I will say whatever I wanna say because I have my own opinions. But I'm not really trying to roast Yandere Dev himself. I'm really not trying to bring him down. I'm just like making a joke about Osana not being in the game. I know that doesn't really make any sense, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't want anything bad to happen to Yandere Dev. I don't want so many people to be like roasting on him and stuff like that. But yeah. Before we move on, I'm trying to process what I just said right there to you guys. And it might sound hypocritical of me saying, you know, I don't believe in piling on somebody because it's just like the popular thing to do. And then I'm over here talking shit about the game and like how buggy it is and talking about no Osana in the game, which is like the same thing that a lot of people are saying directly to him. But I feel like a lot of people are really getting personal with it. Like they actually mean it. With me, I just talk a lot of trash. And no, I didn't fart if you guys heard that. My uh, slipper, slipper, my slipper just slid across the ground and then made like a weird farting noise. I swear, I'm trying to recreate the noise, but I can't, damn it, that's embarrassing. I think a lot of the, the hate now is kind of unnecessary and I think people are just kind of clout chasing, some of them, not all of them, but I think a lot of them are clout chasing because like you see these small channels coming out with these Yandere Dev hate videos and it's like, yeah. It's I mean, so whether we like it or not, Yandere Simulator, Yandere Dev is a hot topic dumb, that to that's, people that's who create content, that know people know, are gonna I, watch I, it, I to be like I promise you. I know the minds of content creators because, you know, I've been doing this for almost six years now and people wouldn't be making Yandere Simulator, Yandere Dev content if they knew nobody was going to watch it. I know that they probably won't admit it, but that's just a fact. Like, they wouldn't invest that much time into making a video if they thought nobody was going to watch it. Like, they know that people are going to tune in and give their own opinion. And, I mean, I can't blame them. You know, it is an interesting thing for a developer to take his creation of a game online and then now that it's not going at the speed that people want it to it's it's kind of like people are wondering you know what the hell is going on now like why isn't this happening why isn't the development of the game faster than i want it to be and i feel like the people whose voices should be heard and should be the loudest are the people who financially supported on patreon i've always believed that I've always believed that for anything, really. Like, if you pay for something, you should see what you paid for come to fruition. Like, you should see the result of whatever you put your money into. So, I don't know. Um, I guess going on Patreon is kind of like a gamble, I guess. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. And then you just got to live with the results. But, I mean, those are the voices that I think should be the loudest. Um, but either way, I mean, we are getting updates, but not the updates that we want to get and i feel like that's where yandere dev messed up is talking about osana for so long and then um people are going to expect her because you're starting to build up hype and then if you don't get what you're um trying to like set the i'm not what am i trying to say it's hard when you're trying to one take j everything uh when you set that expectation people are gonna try to um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say. If you set that expectation, people are going to get hyped for it. There, I mean, that's not what I'm trying to say, but people are going to get hyped 
for that thing to happen. And then when it doesn't happen and you keep pushing it back and back and back and back, sooner or later, people are going to be like, all right, you know, what's going on here? Like, let me speak to a manager. So I feel like that's where he really messed up is just um, being too open with it. Just being too open with the creation of his game and saying, hey, Osana's coming, Osana's coming, Osana's coming. And then like three, four, five years later, Osana's not in the game and you're kind of just like, all right, well, what's happening? This is the biggest criticism Yandere, fa Yandere Dev faces is how long the game has taken. It's taken six years, obviously. That is a quite a bit of time. Uh, and I always just thought it was kind of ridiculous that people got so mad about that. I think the only people that have a right to really be mad about how long a game is taking is the Patreon supporters because they're yeah, the that's what I that said. have actually paid money essentially to support the game. Yeah. So I could understand why they were mad, but a lot of people are mad at something that is completely free to them and they don't pay anything. So they haven't lost anything. If anything, yeah, they've invested some support and maybe they kind of feel betrayed because the game hasn't came out yet. The promises aren't fulfilled. And I always thought that that was a big problem that Yandere Div had. It was making promises he can't keep. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know about yeah. you, but I also have- I mentioned I that earlier too. Thing. Sometimes I'll make a promise and I don't keep it and I feel like crap. And because he's taken six years to, you know, come out with the, the demo of the game, I know it like on paper, it does sound completely like crazy, right? Well, I'm sure Yandere Dev is just stressed out about it. <laughs> I mean, I know I would be, but I think, so what? So what if it's taken this long? Like, honestly, what difference does it make if you're not paying any money? Like, some people just feel so entitled and then they want to hate when they've literally lost absolutely nothing. By okay, yeah, my honest opinion on that is kind of on his side too. Like, I have no bias towards anybody, but I really don't care how long a video game takes. I feel like the biggest mistake, like I said so far, is just setting those expectations and then people are getting hyped up about it. And then if you don't follow through with it, then people are gonna be like, okay, you know, that's cool. And then you push it back and then you do it again. You push it back, you do it again. And then you start adding things that nobody asked for. And then sooner or later, people are gonna be like, yo, what is happening? Like, what is happening? Where is the person that you said was gonna be in the game? And then you're just adding all this random stuff or not even working on the game. With that, that makes sense. That that makes sense to me why people would be irritated and annoyed with him. But I just don't like the entitlement that people have. The people who should be really mad are the people who have financially supported the game. They should be the ones who are like, hey, dude, what is you doing? Like, come on, give us the game. Like, give us the demo at least. Those are the people who should like have the loudest voices. But people like me or Mike or anybody who hasn't like financially supported the game we should just just chill and just find something else to do with our lives in our days because it's not that serious i promise you guys it's not that serious if somebody doesn't finish the game except the people who have financially supported the game they should be the ones who are asking the questions that's what i believe that's my opinion like the people who have actually put in their hard-earned money no matter if it's one dollars five dollars ten dollars you know a hundred dollars they should be the ones with the loudest voices because they've actually put like their time and effort which is the money that they've made into helping this game get created and just helping a guy's like livelihood i guess just help him be financially stable at, so he can make the game. I feel like those people should have the loudest voices. So yeah, that's my opinion on that. They make animations that are compared to Avatar and, and Death Note. So of course <laughs> better than me, right? Should I my be sad guy. about it? I mean, no, I'm not really sad <laughs> about it. How could you dislike the video if he made that comment, you know? I'm gonna leave a like on that video. How could you water? dislike that Is that gonna stop when he me makes top tier comments like that? Every few months, there's a post like, I'm making a Yandere Simulator game better. This phenomenon has slowed down ever since 2017, 18, but there's still so many people. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that, that love to talk, but when it comes to actually doing, they can't follow through with it. So I feel like, I mean, shouldn't that say something? You know? I'm not trying to white knight for Yandere Dev as much people probably like to think of that. I feel like, I feel like with that, I mean, the, the difference is, is that a normal developer, not normal developer, but like, let's just say these young developers that are trying to make Yandere Simulator but better, they're not getting the funding that Yandere Simulator is getting or just like the Patreon support that Yandere Dev is getting. I have no idea how much he's getting on Patreon, by the way. I'm just assuming, like I'm just assuming stuff. I have no idea like the actual numbers and I don't really care to look it up and know the exact amount, but that's the difference. Like. These people who are trying to work on Yandere Simulator, 
probably have to go to school. They have to go to their job to support themselves, to pay rent, to buy food, you know, to pay their electricity and water bills and stuff like that. And then Yandere Dev from his Patreon and from his YouTube videos is getting money to work on the game. So that's the difference there. I think that's the reason why this game is still getting worked on. And then these other games that might be Yandere Simulator but better games that are in progress, they get abandoned because the developer probably realizes that, hey, you know, I don't have the time to work on this because I still have to support myself. But that's just my opinion. That's all I'm saying. That's what I think. That, but I just don't ever hear no one talking about those kinds of things. And so I was just, I just wanted to put that perspective out there. That was essentially the whole point of this video. I made it way longer than last time and more crazy. Okay. So I just wanted so that's to pretty much it. say what- Okay, damn. I didn't expect my video to be this long. I actually don't know how long this video is going to be, but I hope it's not too long. Um, so if you guys want to check out Bijou Mike's full video, I'll leave that in the description box below. I really don't know why he got a ton of dislikes. Maybe he said some positive things about Yandere Dev and, you know, people don't like that because I know it's cool to not like Yandere Dev and to hate on Yandere Dev and, like, expose him for things that he's done. But, I mean, I'm not on board that train. I'm not on board that train. Does that mean I love Yandere Dev? No. That doesn't mean I love Yandere Dev. I do like the game that he's created. I'm interested in playing it more. The reason why I don't play the game that much anymore is because there's not anything for me to do in the game anymore. I'll pretty much just be running around the school or listening to Headmaster tapes and, you know, I'm good off that. But yeah, I guess to summarize all of Bijou Mike's video, I get where he's coming from, you know, with all the Yandere Dev hate and cancel culture and things like that. Um, Dr. Apis, hit me up, you know, if you ever want me to play your game, let me know what's up. I know a lot of people ask me my opinion about Yandere Dev. I see it a lot. I don't see it that much. I saw it like a lot probably last year. Yeah, last year and then maybe, I don't know. I can't really tell you guys. Like end of 2018, maybe a lot of 2019 and then kind of this year. A lot of people are asking me my opinions on Yandere Dev. I don't really care about all the stuff that he gets into personally. The only thing that I'm focused on is the game that he's creating because, you know, I want to make content on the channel. I do want to make content on the channel. I don't play Yandere Simulator in my free time. I play it to record it. So the only times I ever play the game is when I'm recording it for you guys. So yeah, I'm just looking forward to the updates. I don't look forward to figuring out like new secrets or new exposed videos of Yandere Dev because that just doesn't interest me. That's something that I never found interest in. I just play video games, guys. I just play video games. I'm a dad. I'm somebody who's just trying to support my family and me. And that's pretty much it. That's my opinion on that. Um, like I said, I don't think Yandere Dev likes me very much. I'm pretty sure even if he doesn't like me, I don't think I'm his favorite person in the world. Just because of all like the roasting that I've done in videos. I know a lot of developers don't like me because of things that I've said. But hey, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, that's it for me reacting to Bijou Mike's video. Don't know why it got that many dislikes. Maybe he said something that I just completely skipped over because I talk so damn much. But yeah, guys, I just thought this would be a cool thing to do. If you want me to react to any more types of videos like this, um, you know, just let me know and I'll just give my opinions on it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cubs, Scouts, is that dude!